Hello everyone. This is uh, something that's come up just recently about how to remove surface mount LEDs from a backlight in a TV or maybe a high-end monitor, something that would be worth repairing. And I'm going to show you how that's done with a flat-tipped or uh, beveled edge soldering iron tip here and a little extra solder that we put on here just to make a thermal bridge so that we can make good connectivity with it. So if we take that and we apply it to the back of an LED that we are wanting to remove, we're going to have to have patience with this. You can almost see when the solder changes. A lot of times these LEDs are also heat sinked underneath the LED that is right here. So you have the two legs and the heat sink to heat up and then remove. So we're going to see if we can't watch that happen. Fortunately, at this angle, I can't get a good flat. There we go. That ought to do it. So if we put this right here, where we can saturate that with heat. like we're probably going to need to put new solder on there. Flux burns out. So we're going to put a little bit more and then we're going to try that one more time here. I'm going to try it on that one. Give it a little bit of time. Looks like I'm having the same problem I was before with not getting a flat bite. Let's try that. Comes right off just like that once you get it up to the right temperature. Now, here's what I do to clean up the surface. Let's say I was replacing a bad LED from another backlight that I had onto this one. Instead of having to buy them online, a lot of times you can find them on uh, sites that sell LEDs if you know what the package size is. So what I do is I just go over a little bit. And then I'll actually clean off some of the solder off of there, but I didn't get it good enough to where it's I feel comfortable with that. Let's see here. Because when we're going to put the the new one back on, sometimes having a little bit of flux really helps. There we go. It just makes them spring back. So we see that those pads are lightly tinned now. Still not happy with that one over on the left. Okay. So the next thing we would do is I would take a little cloth and dispense some alcohol and clean that up and make sure that we get it all nice and clean before we set that LED back on there. Because in order for this to work, we need to make sure that we have the polarity correctly matched here. And then these just happen to be heat synced in the back as well. Most of your LEDs will have that little dot right there. So honestly, here's the secret to putting these on. It really works best with a level surface to where you can set the LED on top. When you just set it right on there, and if your 
heads are tinned, it practically sets itself. Mm. Come on now. Perfect. So if I take my soldering iron and sink the back of that LED, as soon as it comes up to temperature, it will be re-soldered back on there and you can almost watch it happen. It has pretty much happened. So we see that now whenever I try and move that LED, it's on there very well. Let's see if I can turn it to where you can see it. Now you'll notice that on the bottom there, there's a little bit of solder left. It usually just falls right off. So that's how you do it. We've put an LED back on, and it's virtually the same as if it came from factory. Thanks, guys.